The World Food Programme estimates that as many as 500,000 people could be forced to flee Sudan if Khartoum does not allow humanitarian aid into the country to assist residents displaced by internal and external conflicts. In part two of my conversation with Yasser Arman, the Secretary General of the SPLM North, he says President Omar al-Bashir is deliberately blocking aid to the displaced citizens. Now, uh, Bashir is targeting the civil populations in the two areas. He's targeting our Qadir. There is a mass grave uh, in, in those areas. Now, Bashir is taking hostages, more than 500,000, uh, uh, half a million uh, displaced persons. And he's bombarding them by, by air uh, in the last 10 months. And at the same time, denying them access for humanitarian uh, aid. And uh, this is a serious situation. It is uh, a situation more serious than Libya, uh, more serious than any other uh, countries uh, where half a million people are starving. There is a policy of mass starvation uh, being designed uh, by Bashir and his government. Now, in these areas, you do, as SPLM, actually uh, have control over those areas, don't you? Yeah, we, we control most of them. Now, as uh, a party, a movement that controls that area. What have you done? What has your movement done, at least to try and f facilitate the, uh, for example, uh, bringing in of food aid or to at least ensure uh, that some of those people can be spared from some of the brutalities that we've seen there? Well, uh, in the first uh, place, we signed with the United Nations and the African Union and the Arab League uh, a memorandum of understanding to open corridors, uh, and uh, to open access, but again, this was uh, disowned, and Bashir refused to sign that agreement. He's buying time. Even today, I hear some news that he's going to allow the food, but he has been saying that in the last 10 months. As a movement, we don't have the capacity to bring all this humanitarian aid to our areas. We consulted and uh, we take the message to our friends. And there are great people uh, from this country, the United States and other countries who are responding positively. But it's still the capacity is very low. The rain is coming and uh, it is not matching with, with the huge need. We are still looking for the United Nations, for the international community to put pressure on Bashir, to free those citizens, uh, to give them, it is a right, it is a basic human rights for them to get an access to to humanitarian uh, aid. So, well, uh, as a movement, you can say that fairly, you are kind of helpless until the inter unless the international community intervenes. You, you basically cannot do anything to help the people who live in those Nuba Mountains. Some are living in caves, as we speak. You really have no cap capability to help them as SPLM. Well, uh, we, we, we do what we, we can. Uh, whatever we have, uh, we are sharing it uh, together. We are defending them, uh, at least from the ground attack of, uh, of Bashir. And uh, we are talking to everybody uh, outside uh, Sudan. We get some little uh, help. And this little help, we are taking it to remote areas, uh, but uh, we really see that this uh, situation, it is a responsibility of everybody, of all human beings worldwide, uh, to save half a million uh, human beings in uh, Sudan who are under uh, genocidal uh, regime, and uh, regimes that committed war crimes in Darfur, and uh, in many other parts of uh, Sudan. Yes, and, and you know, the, uh, the whole question of war crimes uh, has become a little, uh, uh, a little bit complicated because almost every group, every movement, is, is being seen as uh, some are being culpable. In fact, uh, some of the information I was getting is that uh, even in your area, the area you control, some of the ones that you're using in fighting are children or rather they are classified as child soldiers, perhaps even 13 years old. Uh, wh 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 how do you respond to that? Well, this is a propaganda of uh, Khartoum. It's not uh, true. We are an experienced movement. We, 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 we are a freedom fighter. Uh, we stand with our people. We have not been trained to, uh, for war. We are not professional soldiers. Uh, many of our uh, leaders and commanders who are on the ground uh, some of them they are economists, some of them they are lawyers, some of them they were teachers. 
they were only uh, forced by the circumstances to fight this war. Uh, war is not uh, our choice. We are open, our areas, we, we, we invited all the human rights uh, group to come there. Our, the war for us is, uh, is different. It is a war of liberation. Uh, for Khartoum, it is a war of repression. It is a war of a genocidal uh, army that uh, trained to kill and shoot, as the Ferris Vice President of uh, Khartoum was saying uh, yesterday in the parliament. Our thanks to Yasser Arman, Secretary General of SPLM North, for speaking with us on In Focus. And for more information on any of today's stories, please visit us online at voaafrica.com. You can also visit us on Facebook, just search for In Focus.